Today I'm going to show you how to blend different photos together. Hey there, my name is Ali and this channel is all about teaching you how to become better in Photoshop. We'll start today's edit by going to File, New. We're gonna create a new document. I'm gonna go 4000 by 5000. This is what I use for Instagram and 150 pixels. Okay, we have our canvas. What I'm gonna do now, you don't have to do it. I'm just doing it so my file goes faster. I'm just making everything smaller. Okay. Uh, we'll start by dragging our first photo, which is this one. All the photos are gonna be linked in the description below. I'm gonna hold Shift Alt and just pull this one a little bit. Press OK. I'm gonna make sure I'm on full screen so you can see better what's happening. Let me. Okay, this is how I usually work with this uh, set. Okay. Now we have our first photo. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the quick selection tool and I'm just going to select the sky. You see it made very good job selecting the sky. But now I want the opposite of this one. So I'm going to hold Control Alt and press I. Sorry, Control Shift, press I. It gave me the opposite of this selection. Now I'm going to press Control J and I'm going to close this one for now. Now I have this layer like that. Okay. Now it's time to bring our first background image, this one. I'm going to put it, make sure it's uh, behind. And I'm going to move it somewhere here. Uh, I want to know which one is better, this or that. This one is better because here the mountain is brighter and the forest is brighter, so it's going to work better. Maybe I'm going to put it down a little bit. Okay, and now let's pull our last photo and put it behind, of course, move it up. But now we can not see it because of the layer in front of it, which is this one. So I'm going to stand on this layer and then add a layer mask. Then I'm going to take my brush. Then I'm going to use one of the cloud brushes I have. I have this one. Hold Alt and right click to make the brush bigger or smaller. Make sure you're on a decent amount of opacity. And I'm just going to erase some parts here and there. Something like that. Just to reveal parts of the layer behind. Okay, now it's good, but we have a slight problem. You see the trees here? They are very gray and the trees here are very blue. So I'm going to stand on the layer with the blue trees. This one, I'm going to go to hue saturation, make sure it's linked below and just desaturate it until it's the same color. Okay, so now we fixed the color. Okay, let's now take this, this main layer. This is too bright for this sky. This sky doesn't have any sun or anything. It's dark, it's full of fog. So this one should be darker. So I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer, make sure it's linked below. And I'm just going to pull it down, making it darker. Maybe pull the blacks up a little bit. I don't want very dark black areas. Something like that is good. Okay, and then I'm going to add a hue saturation. This is too colorful, so I'm just going to remove some of the colors from it. Something like that. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of clouds in the background, but we don't have clouds in this layer. So I'm going to add a new layer on top of everything. And then I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to hold Alt to sample color. I'm going to sample this color, the color of the fog we have, or maybe this color. And make sure it's not linked. And this is too strong, so I'm just going to use a very low opacity. And I'm just going to draw some fog. And I can use some cloud brushes I have. These brushes are going to be in the description. You can download them. And if you want to make the brushes work, just press right click. Go to the gear button. Load brushes. And load the file that I'm going to give to you. Okay. Let's choose another cloud brush. Let's make it brighter this time. 
let's make it darker and some here darker clouds and let's make it real dark and here add some clouds here and there maybe switch back to the fog add some dark fog here and there okay so now let's see this layer it added some fog as you can see blending everything together okay now it's time we blended everything together it's time to edit the whole thing together so I'm gonna go to the curves I'm gonna take the black point I'm gonna pull it up this will make everything dark closer together in value making things blend better then I'm gonna take the shadows pull them down then I'm gonna take the very bright point pull it to the left making it brighter let's pull this a little bit down more pull this a little bit up okay so now let's see the curves actually I don't like this cloud here so I'm gonna take this one back I'm gonna go to the erase tool make sure I'm erasing with the same brush so it looks good uh, but that's too strong so I'm just gonna lower the opacity and just erase some of this the very dark fog I had here I didn't like it okay so now, so now let's take a look I always like to do this image rotation flip canvas horizontal as you can see I even placed a hotkey for it so now you see it from a different perspective when you do that you see like a lot of different things okay now let's color grade it I'll go to the curves I'll color grade it with curves let's go to the red channel I'm gonna add some cyan to the shadows some red to the highlights then I'm gonna go to the blue channel I'm gonna add some blue in the shadows some yellow in the highlights okay then I'm gonna add a photo filter I'm gonna use I don't know should I use the the brown filter the warming or the cooling uh, I just like press double click and keep moving my scroll up and down actually I like the cyan I'm gonna stick with that one the cyan color I like it okay now I'm gonna add a new layer this is just like final adjustments I'm gonna sample a color by holding alt on the brush holding alt I'm gonna sample a bright color from here add some color to it moving right and left actually adds color so I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right and then I'm gonna change the blending mode to overlay I'm gonna use a normal circle brush and I'm gonna paint uh, I need it to be brighter actually uh, even brighter something like close to the white yeah, I just want to brighten that part up and maybe brighten this area also up where the light is gone okay so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the opacity of this one last thing I'm gonna do is hold control alt shift then press E this will merge everything into a new separate layer now I can go to filter camera row filter and edit the whole thing in one shot together okay in this one I'm gonna increase the clarity a little bit I guess it needs some clarity a little bit of contrast I'm gonna take the shadows pull them up a little bit the blacks I'm gonna pull them down and the highlights I'm gonna pull them down brighten the whole thing up a little bit something like that then I go to the FX module I will dehaze you can either like dehaze reduce the fog or haze increasing the fog I'm gonna dehaze and I'm gonna add some vignette and I'm gonna press ok so now this is like what happened I'm gonna jump again to the camera row filter I do the camera row filter several times but this time I'm gonna do only the top part I'm gonna take this gradient, gradient filter and then I'm gonna just pull it like that so now it's affecting only the top part gradually starting from the green point until the red point in this one you have to make sure everything is zero now if I do an effect it's only gonna affect the parts I'm checking on so in this one I'm gonna dehaze increasing the fog in the photo and reduce the clarity make it a little bit brighter and press ok 
So now everything is here brighter and more foggy. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna do. I just keep jumping to the camera row filter, go to the effects and add some vignette. I don't wanna go too strong, just a little bit. Okay, if you want to repeat this vignette, you can just go to filter and press on this camera row filter on the top. It will repeat the last action you made. Okay, let me zoom out. I like to zoom out to take a better look or look here top right in the navigator and control H. This is like to flip the thing horizontal. There we go. Just to take a better look all on it. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you put them in the comment section below. Thank you.